My name's Courtney George, I'm 21 um, and I fight out of the club New City and Edge Romford and this year I'm hoping to make a big change in boxing. This is the career I want to pursue now so yeah watch out because I'm coming for it. Oh, yeah, so we're just, um, just uh, so you're quite young, you're only 21. Yeah, 21, 21. Yeah, still a baby though. <laughs> so, why boxing? Why boxing? I absolutely love it. Um, I started boxing probably about a year ago. I was a lot heavier than what I was now as well. I started out at 83 kg. I'm now in at 67. So I got down to that in roughly around 10 months. So training every day, eating healthily. Um, at the start, it was kind of like, Will saw something in me, he was like, just come and train. If you don't like it, you don't like it, but come and train, he'd see me doing other things. And as soon as I got down here, I loved it. And um, like a few things had happened in my life and stuff. So uh, it was like, it just became this whole release that I had. So it just, I come down here and I just feel like I'm totally at home. Um, and like these people are my family. So yeah, it's brilliant. I love it. And that's what I want to do now. I just want to fight. I train, I work in London, so I have a full-time job. Um, but then I'm in the gym for two hours every yeah. night. So as soon as I finish work, I get into the gym. I train every night and then I train on the weekends as well so I do around two hours every day the weekend. No, so I work in advertising. <laughs> yeah, so it's not sports related at all but um, yeah it's, it's a lot to try and manage both but um, I'm just starting out so yeah there's no pain when you love it so yeah I'd do I've always watched boxing. When I was little, I used to watch, um, they used to have the contenders. They used to do all the different ones. And I used to stand in front of the TV and I'd be there like shadow boxing, but I didn't know what I was doing then. I was just, yeah, yeah. I just used to try and copy them. So uh, I used to watch that growing up with my dad. So yeah, I was just standing there in front of the TV, trying to copy them. Never ever done boxing before. Just that was, that was all I knew of boxing. And then um, always watched it. Um, and I always played sport when I was younger, but never boxing. And then yeah, kind of, Kind of fell into it and never left, and I'm never leaving. What's um? What's your kind of like parents? Oh, my mum. She gets so scared. She's like, your face, your teeth, your nose, <laughs> and I'm just like, don't worry, mum. I'm hoping to make enough money in the sport that if any, if I lose any teeth or break a nose, I just, I'll get new ones. But um, yeah, my mum hates it. She can't watch it. She always come and support, but um. Yeah, she's like always hiding behind her hands and yeah, screaming. Kind of yeah, my, dad, my dad's always like been there in terms of like always wanting me to do a sport. Um, yeah, and he, he would have loved this. He would have loved this. So, yeah. Have you had any amateur fights? So this will be my this is my first year coming into amateurs now. So yeah. my first fight will be February twenty third. Um, yeah, excited. I'm ready to go. I've been ready for months. <laughs> I've been ready for months. I've just yeah, just a few delays. Um, I had like a couple problems with my neck, so a few trap nerves and uh, just a, a few little little hiccups here and there. But um, yeah, ready to go now. So February 23rd. I was speaking to our Angel Cameron. Yeah, it's a very, very pleasant thing. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, but you know, realistically, what, what is your name? What is what is your ambitions? I mean, I know you've not even had an ambition. Yeah. To be world champion. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, are you quite kind of like grounded as well at the same point? That yeah. Injuries could happen. Things happen along the way. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like totally understand that. I think I've, I've, I used to play sport when, I, like, like I said, I played sport for many years. So you always develop a discipline in any sport that you do. So this for me is, is it's obviously even more discipline. It's a fighting sport. It's a martial art. So, but um, world champion. It's what I'm going for, um, and that's what I'm going to be. So yeah, world champion. So, what, so going, okay, so going pro. Realistically, time frame. Did you have an idea of like what you want to achieve? Do you want to so, achieve Olympics? And so, I honestly would do everything possible. If it's the next Olympics and then I go pro, I'll happily do that. I'll do what, whatever is in front of me. I'll do it just because I want to fight and and I want to win in everything. So if I could do it all, I would yeah. do it all. But um, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'm not rushing anything. Um, it's just about taking time, trusting the process. Oh, exactly. Yeah, you need to have your first fight first. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, go from there and then kind of see yeah. what happens kind of thing. But obviously, you know, you're, you're so much more grounded. Yeah. <laughs> You've done a little bit of work with Angel. Yes. Um, obviously known for training Joshua and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. He's a, he's an unbelievable coach. Um, like everything he teaches you is just to the point. So technique, 
everything he says is baby steps. I'm, I'm sure that is his. So just like in training, just to slow everything down. So don't rush it. Like you're in training, you're not trying to fight. This is this is the learning ground. This is where you're going to learn everything. So it's like slowing everything down and breaking it down into baby steps. So single punches. So even just throwing a right hand or a jab, like making sure that everything's correct from your stance to the way that you're, you know, turning into that shot. Um, that's the key thing, just breaking it down now so that when when I get years down the line, that's there. Because he said that there's now fighters who, you know, they're fighting pro and stuff, but now they're trying to learn, you know, the precision. Um, so yeah, everything, he's, he's, his famous line is always baby steps. Everything's baby steps, so yeah. Do, do you watch any um, kind of like thing you know, look up to, so to speak, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm always watching boxing. I'm always down at um, like the MTK shows with the guys, so I'm always watching it. Watch, watching female boxing, men's boxing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Clarissa Shields, Clarissa Shields, yeah. I think uh, her entrance at her last fight I thought was amazing. She came out to uh, Beyonce around the world. It was, uh, it was unreal. And Katie Taylor, um, yeah, she's smashing it as well. So. Yeah, really yeah, it's, yeah, so it's really picking up now. And I think, I think there is a market for it. Like, people are really enjoying it. And, and when they see that, I think people have a stereotype of our, you know, like boxing's always been a men's sport and then they're like, oh yeah, girls, girls can't box like boys, but then they watch it and for me, I spar boys, I train, I don't really train with girls, I train with boys, so I spar boys, I fight boys, I'm not afraid, like if it, if it meant me fighting professionally, I had to get in a ring with a boy, I'll do it, I don't, I have no boundaries or no limits, like I'm a fighter, <laughs> I'm a fighter, so, um, yeah, I think now they're, they're seeing that that is the case and that we don't care, we're just here to fight. No, so, um, you mentioned mixed martial arts, do you, do you watch that as well? You're into that? Yeah, so I watch, I, I kind of watch, oh, I watch, uh, I love a bit of UFC. Yeah, um, you've got Darren. Yeah, Darren's here, obviously, he's, he's amazing. I've, he's got another fight coming up soon. Uh, hopefully, hopefully get down there, support him, yeah, yeah. but um, yeah, he's an amazing yeah. fighter. I think I think boxing's where my heart's at. Yeah. I mean I'd give it a go. I'd give it a go, I'd always give it a go, but um yeah, boxing's boxing's what I want. Yeah. Um before you go, um like any social media people. Yeah, so uh, you can follow me to start with. So my Instagram is uh, at court underscore George. Obviously, you've got my coaches, Will Jones. So Will Jones Boxing, Edge Gym. Um, shout out to New City as well. That's the club I fight out of. Um, shout out to Vitalize Sport Therapy. So giving me my massages. Yeah, shout out to the team. Brilliant. When's your next one? 23rd of Feb. Uh, it's in South London. Um, Will, my coach, is the, I don't do all the logistics, I just turn up and fight. Where we're from, so but, um, yeah, perfect, perfect.